The following story in Fixing Paco is fictional and does not depict any actual person or event. Consult with your medical team before making any changes or decisions regarding your current course of treatment, including diet and exercise. So myself, you know I mean I told myself it's gonna be a My dad had his first consultation with the transplant surgeon and he met the rest of his I'm broken, you fix me transplant team. They gave us a lot of info and we listened. Even dad paid attention. And by the time we left, the whole team was on our side. How could they resist that Fuentes charm? We're a package deal. And so they ordered a series of tests to see if dad's a candidate for a kidney transplant. And then the testing began. Dad had to get an x-ray to make sure his lungs were okay. He needed some cardiovascular tests to reveal the condition and strength of his heart. He had to do an upper and lower GI. Pre-med here, so let me translate. A gastrointestinal test determines if his esophagus, intestines, and stomach are healthy. And Dad had to get an abdominal ultrasound to evaluate his kidneys, gallbladder, liver, and spleen. Dang, that's a lot of parts. Who knew? Dad also needed some blood work. And some more clients. A vascular screening so the surgeon will know where to attach the new kidney. And can you believe it? Dad even spoke to a psychologist. It turns out that all patients need a psychological evaluation before they can be approved to receive a transplant. You have anything broken around the house, you break it, I fix it. You broke it, I fix it. I do that. The transplant surgeon said that Dad might have to get some other tests done and gave him an order to get a prostate exam. Ouch. So glad I'm not a guy. Well, Claudita, we rushed over here. What is the good news? You're eligible for a kidney transplant, Paco. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> when can we do this? Well, it's not that easy. It's not like you can walk into the kidney store and buy a new one off the shelf. <laughs> well, just call your major distributors. <laughs> que chistoso. You have jokes, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now that I know you're eligible for a transplant, I have to put you on the national waiting list first. So, um, how long are we talking here? Like, a couple of weeks, a couple of months? It could take years. Years? Why? Because you're going to be waiting for a kidney from a deceased donor. Tia Julia got one of those, remember? It depends on your blood type. Uh, well, I just can't sit around and wait. Is there anything I can do to move this process along? Well, you can start by being healthy and by following the instructions that your transplant team gives you. Papi, you need to start being an active participant in your health, you know? Mm. Be proactive. So, what's the deal with this waiting list? The United Network for Organ Sharing, also called UNOS, is a national network. This is where all the kidneys from deceased donors are registered. And they'll be able to find the perfect kidney for my dad? Well, it's not always possible to find the perfect match. Well, how does it work? The kidneys are assigned a point system. Points? What's that got to do with me? You're given points depending on how long you've been on dialysis, how long you've been waiting for a kidney, and your DNA matched to the donor. Then all the points are added up, and all the people in the region whose blood type matches the donor are scored on their total points. Oh, wow. This sounds too complicated. No need to worry, Paquito. The UNOS computer takes care of this. It sounds like it could take a long time to find a match. I don't have that kind of time. What are we gonna do? Paciencia, viejito. Paciencia, look, I'm the guy that fixes things. My card says that, you know, when it's broken, I fix it. And when I fix it, I fix things fast. Well, not this time. Because it could take months, even years, Paquito. Well, in that case, my red hot, spicy, irresistible blood is gonna have to, you know, bubble up to find a match. Well, I'm your perfect match, but let's see. How do we know when a kidney becomes available? Well, you Mr. Think You Know It All, you're gonna have to be on call 24 7. Okay. 
Why? Because I need to reach you at any moment's notice. If a kidney becomes available, you're going to have to come in for surgery at any time. Emergency surgery. Really? When a kidney becomes available, there's a small window of opportunity to get it to the best candidate. If he's not ready or we can't find him, then they'll move on to the next person on the list. That's why it's important that you stay healthy and in shape. Because when it happens, it happens fast. Oh, I like this. Don't you worry. These muscles aren't going anywhere. Well, thank goodness, Paquito. All right. Give them up. Right here, in front of her? No, no, your numbers. Oh. I need all your numbers, so give them up. Why? You're asking me out on a date? Or... <laughs> you waited a long time they won to get these digits. I think you deserve them. So. OK, you win. For a kidney, I'll go with you. <laughs> Dad's test results were great, and he's eligible for a kidney transplant. Claudia told us about how he can get a kidney from someone who's brain dead. Tia Julia got one of those. She was on the wait list for years before one became available. Dad's transplant team told him exactly what he needs to do to stay healthy and in shape to prepare for a transplant. But I know that he's struggling. He's been stressed and a little down. Dang, Papi. Just because you broke up with your kidneys doesn't mean you have to reach for the chocolate peanut butter crunch in the freezer. We all have our moments of weakness, and I understand that. But we're going to help you stay focused on your goal, Papi. So talk to us. We're here for you.